Let's see, uh, intro, intro, I gotta do an intro, um, I got nothing. Or wait, did that count as something? Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. Tell me something, has your PlayStation Vita been very dry as of late? Looking for something to spice up that library? Maybe games that not many people talk about? Does your PS Vita need a little bit of moisturizing? Why is this intro sounding more and more like a shampoo commercial? Well, if you answered yes to any of these questions, or all of them, or some of them, then I have a video that will cure what ails ya. I have some PS Vita games here that have kinda slipped under the radar that not a whole lot of people talk about. As per tradition, I have compiled a list of PlayStation Vita games with very genres so there's a little bit of something for everybody here and be sure to let me know what games you consider to be hidden gems down in the comment section below and we're gonna start off with the first game and a title that after three years of doing YouTube I still don't know how to pronounce correctly Croyxler Croyxier Croyx Huxler Sigma. I know it's Sigma at the end. I'm 100% sure of that. I know, I know. It sounds pretty desperate. And you'd be right. Wielding magical blades, four girls must fight back with the encroaching waves of monsters in this exciting hack and slash action game. Mix and match four different weapons and find the fighting style that best suits you as you slice your way through various types of battles. Story mode focuses on the girl's charming friendship and is fully voiced in Japanese. I know that's a big deal to some me included. You can also hack and slash your heart out in score attack, challenge mode, weapon switching, dungeon mode, and many more. Includes a wealth of accessories such as cat ears, spectacles, and headphones to make your gal look stylish and enhance her skills in battle. Or I'm sure to feed some sort of type of fetishes depending on the type of person you are. Oh, and fun fact about this game, it takes place entirely in a tower. The faster you make it up the tower affects the ending. So check it out if you get a chance. I'm a bit tired of hacking and slashing at monsters, let's shoot them now! This be Earth Defense Force 2017 Portable! I know, I know what you're gonna say, but James, everybody knows about Earth Defense Force 2! And yes, you'd be right! Well, kind of, there's a lot of people who still don't know it exists either. But a lot of people don't know that there's an Earth Defense Force 2017 Portable on the PS Vita. There might be a good reason for that, this title is kinda long, which is why I'm featuring it right now! Sandlot's classic shooter comes to handheld in North America for the first time! Well, it did like three years ago. That's what happens when you talk about older games. Epic battles against hundreds of enemies on screen at a time. Completely destructible environments. More than 150 weapons explosions. To collect, I may add. More than 50 missions made for replay across easy, normal, hard, very hard, and the dreaded Inferno difficulty. I'm going to assume that's probably the hardest. Including all new enhancements exclusive to Earth Defense Force 2017 Portable, which is the Vita version. Exclusive unlock and play EDF flying female fan favorite pal wing after fulfilling certain conditions. Options to utilize enhanced Vita controls utilizing the front and rear touchpad. Believe me when I say this guys, nobody wants that. We just want regular controls here people. No motion controls or touch controls or anything like that. They really thought it was the future back then though. But anyway, you can aim and charge your field of view. New co-op and competitive multiplayer modes featuring international online multiplayer, North and South America and Europe. Not 100% sure if those servers are still up, but uh, it was cool that it was once a thing. And if you haven't figured it out by now, this game is all about shooting aliens. What is it about the PS Vita and alien shooting? I mean, like, they're people too, right? Huh? Oh, and you can't talk about Earth Defense Force without saying this. EDF! 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 Shout out to my boy Mark who doesn't review video games on YouTube anymore. We now go from shooting aliens in a post-apocalyptic world, I know, I know, I miss it too already, to, um, um, fishing. See, I told you this video was gonna have all kinds of different types of genres. Little bit of something for everyone here. So if you enjoy eating fish, and I know a lot of you out there probably don't because it's always really taboo for some weird reason. Big meaty claws! It's not like I live in Seattle or anything, but I still like them. Well, we can do that virtually now. Kinda sorta, I don't think so because they don't really eat the fish in this. Much to my displeasure. Let's Fish Hooked On, also known in Japan as Let's Try bass fishing fish on next i'm glad that they shortened that title good grief that was even longer than the earth defense force one is a sports fishing video game developed for the playstation vita obviously the game's plot what a fishing game has a plot occurs in the world tour mode where the player invited to play as four different characters each with their own storyline unique skill 
skills and abilities. The game's plot differs depending on which character is chosen. First we have Akita, who has joined the world tour to follow in the footsteps of his father, a world famous fishing champion. Yawn. Jamie, following her childhood friend Ryuju to the tournament and decided to join herself after being goaded by Kano. Who's that you may ask? Well, there's Kano, also known as, uh, I don't know, they have Kanji here, who loves fishing and wants to be a champion and at the same time, make friends. You're probably not going to do it in this, fishing can be pretty competitive. And finally there's I, who wants to bring world peace through the medium of fishing. Well, good luck with that one. So yeah, a fishing game with a storyline. Kinda, sort of, not really, I mean it's not very in depth but there's something there at least. Paper thin though it may be. But yeah, very solid fishing experience here with multiple levels and an range of fish for you to catch and you can also buy lures and all that jazz. You know, it's a fishing game so it's, it's kinda just to be expected. Let's see, we've done enough fishing for now, so let's go to, I don't know, tactical things. This be Grand Kingdom, a game that uh, they took down the servers to not too long ago, so you can't play it online anymore. But hey, you can still do the single player. In Grand Kingdom, you will join the War of Resonales, I think, future in this tactical RPG. Recruit units from among 17 unique class types, arrange your character battle formations, and lead your troops to victory. Take part in the exposing of a sinister conspiracy in a thrilling single player campaign or form a contract with one of the four great nations and join the war effort online or at least you could have they took down the servers I hate you where you will compete against other players for control of territory and resources again you would have been able to do that so choose your contract nation wisely in this war for supremacy there can only be one Grand Kingdom so think of this as a cross between a tactics game and a fighting game. And it's really awesome too. It was 100% awesome, especially when it had online. The game can be kind of grindy, but it's a tactics game, so you kind of just come to expect that. Oh, and did I mention that this game doesn't have its online available anymore? Not that it bothers me. And there you have it, everyone. Those were some of the games, just some, because the PlayStation Vita has a ton of games that I think need a lot more attention amongst the community. But I know I've left out a lot of them because as I said, there's a ton of them out there. So make sure you say how disappointed you are that I didn't include your favorite game down in the comments section below. Not too hard though, I bruise easily. And as always fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Jesus Hernandez, Silica, Burrs and Mystery, Juan M. Hermesio, Eric DeWitt, Tasha Monti, Ronan Elganto, Matt Hargett, Jackie, Gutter Drums, Hemdal Imbert, Wendy K., David Ray, Phantom XRS, Saul Ramirez, Kyle Brooks, JR, Erock, Pierce Sterner, Adam Theory, Skullshire Tugel TCG, BMF, Clayton Merlarkey, Joshua Williams, Jared Hado, Kevin Enright, Heston Joseph, Aaron Swanson, Rodrigo Vera, Hero Acer, Adam Sondi, PS Vita S, Richard Cruz, Laurie Sweeney, Jelle, Mario Cruz, Larry Anderson, Makis Blob, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Reiko Star, Nirorashi, and Milk Sama. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to accomplish this down there. Oh, and please send me an email and let me know whether or not I'm saying Croix or Sigma right.